Hello, my name is Doris Troner and I'm a pediatric neurologist at UC San Diego. I study the effects of cystinosis on the brain. My research has found that individuals with cystinosis may have challenges with visual spatial skills and spatial memory. We have found that some people with cystinosis also have differences in brain development that we can see when we do magnetic resonance Im imaging of the brain. One of the myths about this finding is that people with cystinosis should have brain MRI scans on a regular basis to look for such changes. This is really not the case. The structural changes that we see don't reflect how a person is functioning or whether they'll have any learning or memory challenges. A brain MRI is needed only for very specific reasons, including headaches, memory problems, evidence of increased pressure in the brain, seizures, sudden change in neurological condition, or the possibility of a stroke. There's no need to do routine brain MRIs if the person is doing well from a cognitive and neurological standpoint, and no need to, con to have a concern if an MRI is performed and shows evidence of apparent shrinkage of the brain, sometimes called atrophy. These changes are likely caused by differences in brain development rather than what might be seen as an indication that the brain is not functioning well. I hope this dispels the myth that every cystinosis patient needs to get a brain MRI on a regular basis.